So this is a Polanoid 340 instant camera and this is my review of it. Check it out. Well, this is the outer casing. Well, pretty old. I'm sure it's from somewhere in the 1980s. But this is a Polaroid 340 and it's an instant uh, uh, photo uh, camera which is pretty interesting as you can see at the casing at the back it has its timer and a uh, very interesting and basic look to it and uh, yet I believe that uh, back in the days um, our forefathers used to have it quite nice and uh, some interesting gadgets so within this review, I'm going to show you this lovely um, camera. So when you get into it, you just open the casing. That is just the protective casing to protect the, the lens and everything inside. I don't know much about it and I haven't done much research on it, but I've seen some on the tubes and uh, many people have uh, some expertise from it. As we look into discovering, we have uh, um, the manuals and everything that is inside. Most of them are in Japanese, um, many in German, so I couldn't read, mu read mu much of it. But uh, in that regard, there's just a lot of paperwork. But uh, which is quite cool is that here in 2023, we can still find some um, awesome cameras such as these ones, and uh, it's really nice to. Uh, get a hold of such uh, old uh, equipment and technology so once we are done here we just put that uh, information back to where it belongs and uh, well I can just start with the review and show you how the Polaroid looks so as you can see um, it's quite metallic and it's quite nice uh, I actually do like the way it's uh, produced um, they use quite lovely um, materials, it's good quality, even how it feels in the hands, it's pretty nice. Um, what's, what's so interesting about it is that that lens also is foldable and uh, there's many adjustments also on it of which you can uh, adv uh, adv um, advance your, your camera experience and your shooting experience. Um, the lens is quite terrible. Um, I don't want, do not want to lie about that, but it has many features. Um, um, focus well, and nothing is auto here. It's all mechanical. Like I said on the intro, it's the most mechanical camera I've ever seen. As I can show you right now, once I get um, the lens opened up, you'll see how it stretches, and uh, well, you don't see that. <laughs> You don't see this happen a lot in you know, your modern cameras no matter how advanced they are so this is pretty cool and I believe it's a very lovely artifact something to look back and uh, to reflect on how life used to be I'm sure the 20 year olds in that time used to have so much fun with it um, so I haven't found any parts from it yet but uh, in the near future I'll share with you guys um, how it works when I figure it out so on the tabs there it just shows that uh, what type of camera would you like to, to take a uh, landscape or a, a portrait or a, a, a wide view or a wide picture so that's pretty cool I mean for as old as uh, this camera is it still has some adjustments and I found that really cool I like the way it has so many adjustments so even the lens you can focus it and uh, really I haven't figured it out yet but at the moment I'm just experimenting and that uh, allows me to change um, the focus into 3000 to 300 uh, well I, I just think I just need to do a bit more research on uh, how this camera works some of the things I do are not heavy have any idea how it works um, some features I'm sure they're super cool but I'm a, I'm a dummy I do not know anything about this camera so write down on the um, comments below on how it works and how can I find battery how to run this machine 
and uh, how can I also find the film or yeah, you know the mechanism that allows me to take pictures I'm sure the pictures in here are super awesome as we open into here the, I believe this is where we you know insert our uh, film I'm not sure if, if it's called film or whatever it's called but uh, it's pretty interesting how it looks and it's really heavy this camera you could tell they used um, steel um, the metal inside is quite heavy but I like the way it's been built and uh, the writings there help you understand how to uh, maintain the film and how to roll it up um, that of which will allow you to, to take pictures I suppose but I find it really complicated to, <laughs> to even take a picture um, really uh, in modern times we are really happy for smartphones that are really good at taking pictures without even the hassle of repairing your phone but in this regard it's just really um, a job and a half to even take a picture so this is the model name and uh, it is produced in, in the uh, USA which is pretty nice um, I'm glad that uh, so we were able to, to find it. it's a piece of history and uh, yeah it's pretty interesting um, pretty robust build and uh, well very cool features also um, even the lens it's basically it's like a tunnel um, that stretches out as you can see there I didn't fit my hand inside so pretty awesome but um, yeah I think you, be, you need to have some technical expertise to run this machine <laughs> but uh, so far so good it looks good I don't know who else can uh, repair this like I said in the comments below um, help me out um, inform me school me and uh, show me how these things were done back in the days so as we're about to close off um, well that's all that I can show you about this camera I don't know what else to say about it but I just really impressed by how it looks and the quality I find it very difficult to close but once you get it it's easy and folds up quite nicely and neatly which is uh, something that I really do like so yeah guys that's the review of uh, the Polaroid 340 instant uh, camera and um, stay tuned and subscribe for more guys as you see the uh, as you see the channel growing so voila and that's your polaroid 340 instant camera ciao ciao subscribe